you see it? That was a nice touch of shooting, huh? He's fine. Salty, go get him. Go get him, Salty. Go get him. Good boy, Salty. Don't let him go. Let's try not to post hole. Watch your face. Good boy, Salty. Good. Yep, hold on, we'll go back to the trail. We got a bunny with 11 millimeter steel. That is a birch natural with Paducah palm swells. Shooting 0.66 burning skull, 25 to 20 taper. There's my shot, right in the neck. Obviously it didn't go very far. So at this point in the season, hair fur is worthless. You can't make anything out of it. Even when it's really nice, there's no market for it. So what I do is I just make a quick cut across the back. Put my fingers underneath both sides. I pull. Just kind of peel the skin off of them. It's real easy. So you get down to the knuckle, cut through the tendons. There we go. We've got one nice rabbit hind quarter. Go, there's two. Next, we're going to take the back strap at each side. There is my hole from the ball, went right through the neck here, and fractured its spine. I don't think it was a clean break because it was still moving a bit, but it was a good hit. Knocked it right down, wasn't feeling much, so. I'm gonna cut on either side of the shoulder here, and run down the spine. Okay. See, that's a nice healthy kidney. The rest of this is going to be used for trapping bait next season. There we are, the slingshot of the day that took our snowshoe hair. 
There's our processed down snowshoe hair meat. We've still got a little bit of cleaning up to do, but looks pretty delicious. You get a couple of pounds of meat off of a snowshoe hair, particularly this time of year when they've got a little bit of grass and stuff to eat. There's our instant pot. We've got about, uh, I don't know, half inch of water in the bottom there. There's our cleaned up rabbit. We're going to put it in the instant pot for about 20 minutes just to tenderize it. Save the kidneys. And we're going to tenderize it, and then we're going to take it out, we're going to batter it, and we're going to fry it. 20. Let that go. There's our snowshoe hair out of the pressure cooker. And I'm just going to sprinkle on some salt. And a little bit of pepper. Alright, so we've got our legs dipped in egg yolk. That's just whipped egg. And this is mostly flour with a little bit of cornstarch. And I'm just getting a good coating on all the rabbit meat. In this cornmeal flour mixture, I have some garlic. I've got some generic chicken rub. I have some powdered onion. Uh, and just kind of a medley of other spices that I just grabbed. No real recipe as far as the spices goes. I just kind of throw together what seems... All right, there's our final product, fried snowshoe hair. Should be pretty good. It's really good, it's nice and soft. Um, last time we made this, it was pretty tough because we didn't do the Instant Pot pressure cook first. Um, this is really nice much easier to consume. It tastes the same. It's just softer texture is better